We won. Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're doing well. I really do hope that hashtag no to rickets complete. It is done. They have withdrawn. We're going to read into it a little bit of why, but this is a positive piece of news for Chelsea for those of us who were very concerned about the potential ownership of the Ricketts family of Chelsea Football Club. They have withdrawn from their final bid, leaving three contenders in the ring, which would be Broughton's Consortium, which would be the Todd Bowley Gang, and which would be Big Pagliuca and the Happy Friends. I'm making up these names. Sell in, get comfortable, thank you for liking the video and you are welcome to subscribe if you're yet to do so. A quick note that this video is brought to you by Spitch. I'm delighted to be working with Spitch because they are an awesome fantasy football style game that's totally free to play and utilises Opta stats. So if you think you know about football, this is a perfect opportunity to demonstrate your knowledge because it's not just about clean sheets and goals, it's about everything. It's free to play though you can win money so it's 18 plus and you can play against managers all around the world and also you can just play every now and again you don't have to commit to a whole season so click the link in the description to go check out Spitch now. All right let's get into it. So the deadline for final bids was yesterday and seemingly that's the moment where the Ricketts family decided look this isn't gonna work we are out Tap out, we're out of here. Now, just a quick recap. Us Chelsea fans were concerned because of their problematic past. They had like, you know, the father had Islamophobic emails that was like, uh, you know, racist against um, black men and power in politics. People were also criticizing how they run the clubs. If you're interested in all the negative reasons, you can look at the no to Ricketts protesting campaign. But to be honest, it's pointless. Just know that it was bad and just know that they are now are gone. We're gonna talk about them withdrawing in just a moment and then we can speculate what next and why we can be positive. We're going to jump into this article now from Goal.com written by Nizar Kinsella to get a little bit of additional information on what happened. Chelsea take over Ricketts family withdraw bid to leave three parties in the running. A consortium led by the group already controlling a number of sporting franchises in America has decided not to follow up their interest. The Ricketts family-led consortium, which had been one of the favoured bidders to buy Chelsea, has announced it will be withdrawing from the takeover battle at Stamford Bridge. Aww. The consortium, headed by the family who already owned the Chicago Cubs baseball team in the United States, has partnered with US billionaires Ken Griffin and Dan Gilbert in efforts to seize control in West London from the departing Roman Abramovich. Those plans have now been shelved, with suggestions those involved in the bid had been unable to decide on the final makeup of any deal. So perhaps financial problems behind the scene? We want this much. No, we want this much. Perhaps not the fan protest, but trust me, the fan protest, the No to Ricketts campaign was really uh, potentially damaging optics for the Ricketts family. Let's read on. What have the Ricketts family said? The consortium said in a statement released on Friday, quote, the Ricketts Griffin Gilbert group has decided after careful consideration not to submit a final bid for Chelsea Football Club. In the process of finalizing their proposal, it became increasingly clear that certain issues could not be addressed given the unusual dynamics around the sale process. We have great admiration for Chelsea and its fans and wish the new owners well. Mm. How many remain in the running? Final offers for Chelsea had to be on the table and passed to the Rain Group, the bank handling the sale of the Premier League heavyweights, on Thursday. With the Ricketts family, who had faced protests against their bid, out of the running, three parties remain in the race. Steve Pagliuca, Sir Martin Brulton, and Todd Bowley are now battling for the ownership of the Blues. And I still think generally I'm feeling quite Team Bowley, you know? So this is Nazar Kinsella's view. The Ricketts pulling out might seem Seem like they've succumbed to pressure from sections of the fan base over their bids, but sources suggest it wasn't that reason. Shh. Hello there mate, just a quick reminder to please do drop a like on this video, and why not consider subscribing if you're new to the content. Daily videos of course. Cheers mate. To get some of the match going support on side through several meetings. Them pulling out of the final hour is a big surprise, but owes more to them not being able to agree on a deal amongst various billionaires, between the guys about how much they're going to own and how much they're gonna put in and then there was free so let's 
throw the rickets away, they're done, out of your mind, no longer have to worry about them. It leaves free potential owners. It's starting to get real now. And one huge positive, which is not something I've necessarily reported on football therapy yet, I can't remember if I've said it or not, but they're all gonna be cash buyers, which is absolutely massive. Of course, it means there'll be no leverage buyout, which means there'll be no Glazer family situation with Manchester United, where essentially you're buying the club with their own money, with the club's money. Which sounds messed up, because it is. So that's a huge positive and a huge tick. We don't have to worry about a leverage buyer. They're just going to come in with cash. They're not going to lumber any more debt on Chelsea Football Club. And considering we just had like £1.5 billion of debt wiped away from Roman Abramovich, this is hugely positive. Other Premier League clubs and contenders were really upset that Chelsea had their debt wiped away and thought, oh, it's not fair. They'll be even more upset there's not a leverage buyout either, so the club itself will be in no debt. So, where does that leave us? Well, Steve Pagliuca is a bit of a strange one because he hasn't like denounced his connection with Atalanta yet. Like, surely, if he was to buy Chelsea, he'd have to sell his Atalanta shares, and pretty quickly. But I think he's almost doing the opposite when he speaks to them, which is peculiar. It's very peculiar. Maybe he's trying to keep them sweet until he knows you can buy Chelsea, and then he'll be like, Bye, bitch. <laughs> Well, until then, it's very, very peculiar. Um, I did a video quite recently on Steve Pagliuca when I talked about his potential ownership and went through some news. Feel free to go back and watch that from a couple of days ago. Um, and in the meantime, where I mean, I don't really know that much about the Broughton Consortium. I know, uh, obviously, it's an English-based or mainly-based consortium with different financial backing. But in terms of what I still preference, and maybe it's because I've thought about it more, but I still really like the, the Todd Bowley bid. Um, I think maybe he should be favourite now to, to win uh, to win the bidding or to buy Chelsea. We, he's heavily data driven. He's historically spent money on his teams to win. I mean, when you see spent money, it makes you think of Roman Abramovich. And when you think of heavily data driven for success, you think of Liverpool. Combine the both together. <laughs> winning, winning team. Of course, he's um, successfully run the LA Dodgers. He came into the LA Dodgers as a sort of part ownership or majority shareholder, I think, or largest shareholder, I think, um, after they had some controversy and he came in and, and did really well. Chelsea, he'll be coming into Chelsea after there's been some controversy. So there's parallels there and you'd hope that he'd be able to do a similar thing with Chelsea Football Club in terms of just settling everything down and, and making us great again, MAGA. Whatever, I'm not gonna think about uh, Donald Trump jokes now. Point being, I still think he's probably the best. He's got no skeletons in his closet, he successfully runs sports teams, he said all the right things. He calls it football and not soccer, which is a big tick for an American. He doesn't want a European Super League, he, wants, he thinks the, what governs success is winning championships. He says if you don't win you know, championships, then you're not successful. So he'll be like Premier Leagues and Champions Leagues. That's what I'm in this game for. That's what Chelsea have to do. And also, all the potential owners, all the three remaining, they would have watched that Chelsea game against Real Madrid. They would have watched Chelsea outplay Real Madrid, who have got the record number of European Cups in their own backyard and think, yeah, we can do something with this. You know, just have, use this heavily data-driven model and be like, right, what do we need? Well, they need a better, you know, they needed to get rid of Lukaku because he doesn't suit them, all right? Right, they need to, you know, revitalize the midfield and you need backup in, on the flanks and the wingback positions. Boom, 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 let's do it. Let's use the money ball model and find some appropriate cover and work with the coach Thomas Tuchel. And of course, top of the list is keeping Thomas Tuchel happy. Honestly, like, I'm pretty, I'm going to be okay with whoever gets it now. Out of those four, the biggest concern for me was the Ricketts. They're gone. I feel good from here. I, feel, I mean, just because I preference Bowley, and to be honest, it's more of a gut feeling because they're all saying positive things. You don't really know until you know in terms of them being successful and in terms of them, you know, actually being able to run a Premier League football club well. So we'll have to see what happens, but I wanted to react to this big news because it's big news. I'll put it out to you guys. Um, comment down below. What do you think? How do you feel? Who do you want? What's going on? Um, a lot of people have been messaging me on social media about not getting notified. Uh, YouTube's got a bit funny for me at the moment, so please do turn all notifications on when you subscribe so you guys don't miss videos because that's been happening recently. And it's très très triste. Very sad. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video. Enjoy the football and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chuck 
In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, baby